199? Why is my book at 199? Got 35% and still 199. Well, if you're having this issue with your book, you just uploaded a book and it's still at 199, I'm going to show to you the easiest process for you to change its pricing back to 099 because probably you want to get some cheap reviews and you don't want to pay basically $2 for each review that you get from your virtual assistant. So let's get started. Hi there, this is John Alexo, and if you still haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, I recommend for you to do it. Just go right below, click on the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can receive my weekly video updates where I share with you plenty of tips related to Kindle publishing and also online marketing. And also make sure to like this video because this is a very useful video that I'm going to share with you today. So probably you uploaded your, your ebook to your KDP account and once you go to the um, pricing tab, you notice that once you set the royalty to 35%, you can only set the specific pricing from $199 to $200. And you can really set it back to the usually the regular pricing, which is $099. And I mean, this is quite a problem because if you want to get some cheap reviews, if you're doing review swapping, then you certainly don't want to pay $2 for each review that you get for your book. And the reason why this happens is because the, um, the cover and also the file where you have your, your book, your content written, your doc file, all combined is way too big. And once it exceeds a specific limit inside of uh, KDP, it automatically sets this pricing over here. This m many times or often has to do with uh, you having planning, uh, plenty of images inside of your book and so on, which greatly increases the sizing of your book. Now, the easiest way for you to actually resolve this issue, it's really simple is simply for you to convert your file to EPUB because EPUB is a, a super small file when it comes to its sizing so you won't have this kind of issue. Now what exactly you need to do in order for you to be able to do this you need to have this specific tool which is called Calibre or Calibre or whatever you call this. So you need to have this specific tool which will allow you to convert your file to EPUB. And for you to get this tool, don't worry, this is a free tool. So you just need to go to Google, search for uh, Caliber, Calibre, this, this over here. And it's this first page that appears. Uh, you want to go to the download tab and you want to select the platform that you are using at the moment. You download this file and then like any other software out there you just install it into your computer so you can start using it and it's really that simple so once you do that and once you have this um, this software installed this is what you will see in my case I noticed now that it's actually in Portuguese you probably will have it in English but still it's pretty straightforward I will explain what you need to do so the first thing that you want to do is simply add your your doc file the the standard file that you have where all of the content of your book is actually written so what you do is you go over here to you probably will see had book something like had book and you simply want to add the file that you want to convert so in my case uh it's this one and you can see that it's simply um uploads over here to the this library or whatever you call this and now what you want to do is simply go over here where you see convert book you click on this small icon and what you want to do is you want to put to the title if you don't have the title of the book over here also the the name of the author you want to to have that information and once you go over here to the top you can see uh, format desti destiny format or something like that in English and what you want to do is select EPUB okay you want to select this formatting for your book just like that 
And then once you have all of these options, what you want to do is just press confirm so you can actually convert your file to EPUB. This might take just a few seconds for it to be able to do it. Okay, it's done. Now what you do is you simply go over here to your book, you select your book, you click on the, in this case it's the, the right mouse button, and you want to go over here which says uh, open your file, the, the content of your file, something like that, open the content of your file, and this is where you have your converted file which you want to simply copy or, or paste it or whatever. In this case I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to show to you over here. So I'm actually going to put each one side to side so you can see the difference of sizing which is, so this is the, the normal file as you can see. This is the normal file which I uploaded to KDP and it resulted on the issue that you saw previously and this is the EPUB file which is basically three times smaller compared to my doc file and actually I didn't notice much um, much reduction in the the quality of the images that I had inside of my book I, I really didn't notice any kind of difference you might notice probably there's might have a, a slight uh, less quality compared to your doc but I really don't didn't notice much of a difference. So I'm just going over here back to to my KDP account and I'm going back to the Kindle ebook content. I'm going to select this option. Yeah, save and continue. And now I'm just going to upload my new EPUB file. So I'm going to search this EPUB file that I have over here and I'm just going to upload it. So it's this this one over here and I'm just going to upload it. It will take a few seconds. Okay, so once you have uploaded your uh, new ebook, your new EPUB ebook to your Kindle account, what you want to do is go to back to the ebook pricing and what you will notice is once you go right below to the 35%, you can notice, you will notice that it already changed the, the pricing. So now you can set the pricing back to 099. So this is one of the easiest ways for you to do this because you don't need to go, for example, uh, back to Photoshop or any other image editing software and reduce the quality of your images, then upload them again once to your book and so on. All of that crap that is really a lot of effort. This is the easiest way for you to resolve this uh, issue. Just pass it, you convert your file to EPUB, it greatly reduces the sizing of your file and then you're done over here so if you like this video just leave a like if you still haven't done it also subscribe to my youtube channel so you can receive my weekly video updates and that is all for this video it was just a quick video uh, showing you how you could resolve this minor issue so that is all for this video stay tuned with jordan alexo